star code pink when buying Robux or Premium. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today as you read by the title, I will be teaching you how to make an animated GFX intro, specifically a Christmas themed intro. This intro that I will be making today is for one of my best friends tonight, Jelly, which I'm sure you have seen in many of my other videos. Just a reminder that this tutorial is made for beginners, but it would help to know the basics of Blender first. Starting off, we need to export everything that we want in our animation. I'm going to be exporting Deny Jelly since the intro is obviously made for him. If you don't have the low character plugin that we are using, I will leave the link in the description. Once you've typed in your character, just click Spawn R6. Now we want to export the character, so we're going to head over to the right and right click on the username of your character. Then you're going to go down and click Export Selection. You should now be able to save it to wherever you want on your laptop. I'm going to speed up this next part, but pretty much you just want to export everything else that you want in your animation, such as props, the background, and anything else. Now we are going to open up our Roblox rig. The link to this will be in the description. I will also be using Blender 2.79 for this tutorial, so if you don't know how to download this version, you can watch my Blender download tutorial. Please make sure that you are in Cycles Render before you start to animate. As you can see here, I'm going to delete all of the head. Then I'm also going to change it to Material Mode, just so I can see it a bit better. The next step is to add the character texture. To do this, we need to select any of the body parts, it doesn't matter which one. Also make sure that you are in object mode for this or it won't work. Go up to the top right hand corner and drag down so that you have two screens showing. Now we're going to click on the small white cube and click node editor. If you zoom in, you should see an icon that looks like a folder. We're going to click on that folder and then select your Roblox character's texture. This should then show on your rig. Drag upwards from the top right hand corner to get rid of the second screen. We should now be left with a headless rig. To add the head on, go up to File, Import, Wavefront, then import your saved character. Your character should now be in Blender. Now we're going to get rid of the body since we already have it. Use the rotate and shifting tools down the bottom to do so. We should be left with the head. I want my head to be one object. So I'm going to select everything by right clicking and holding down shift on my keyboard. Now if we go over to the left hand side of the screen, you should see an option to join. Your head will now be in one piece. Then as you can see, the shifting arrows are quite far away from the head. So we're going to click set origin, then origin to geometry to make the arrows closer to the head. Drag your head over to your character's body. I'm just going to quickly save my file by clicking file save you don't have to do this but i wanted to just in case we now should be left with our full character i'm going to go up to file again then click import wavefront we are now going to set up our scene so make sure you are importing all of your objects backgrounds etc i've sped this next part up but pretty much what i'm doing is importing everything and resizing it To move around in Blender, you need to select Shift and the letter F on your keyboard. Then use the arrow keys to move around. Now that I've got most of my scene ready, I'm going to move my character's body parts. To do this, you need to have the rig selected and make sure you're in pose mode, not object mode. Then you will need to continue setting up your scene ready for animating. As you can see here, my character and scene are in position ready for animating. Before I get onto animating though, I'm going to add a sky since I don't want a grey background. This is an optional step. Go up to File, then User Preferences. In the search bar, type in Planes and make sure you have the Import Images as Planes option ticked. Click Shift and the letter A on your keyboard, then select Images as Planes. You can now open up your picture that you want as the background. For mine, I'm using a winter sky. Then I'm just going to resize it until I'm happy. I 
added in a second character off camera by the way, in case you're wondering how it got there. This is my starting position for the animation, so make sure you also have yours. Now we will add a camera, so click add, and then select the camera option. You can move it with the arrow tool or by going into camera view and moving around using shift F. Here is me just placing my camera in position. We are now ready to start on the animating. First of all, you need to select whatever you're going to animate first. I will be doing the camera. When you have your part selected, you need to click the letter I on your keyboard, then click Lot Rot Scale in the list of options. This is going to set its starting point. Also, if you have a look at the timeline at the bottom, your green line should either be at 0 or 1. I'm dragging the green line up to 45 because that's where my camera's next stop will be. When it's in its next position, you need to do the I lock rot scale process again. If you go back to the start of your timeline and play it, your camera should now be animated. Drag your green line back to the start of the timeline and animate your next object. I'm going to start on the girl's arms. To bend the limbs, make sure you're in pose mode. Before moving the arms or whatever you're going to move, you must do a lock rot scale. Then move your green line up, move your object or body part, then add another lock rot scale. As you can see, the arms are now animated too. A tip when animating is to make the animation a lot longer and spaced out than what you were wanting. Because once it renders, it speeds up. You could always just slow it down using an editing app, but we want that smooth animation look rather than lagging. Also, the more parts of the body you animate, the more realistic it will look. Please keep in mind that the lock rot scale process is very time consuming and it may take a while to get used to it. You can now sit back and watch me animate my intro or have a go yourself. This took me 45 minutes in total to animate. I have now animated my scene, so now I'm going to add some lighting. Near the bottom of the screen, click Add, then Lamp. I'm going to be using a Hemi lamp. Now we need to position it until we are happy. You can check in rendered mode what it looks like if you want to. You can also go over to the lamp icon on the right hand side to adjust the brightness and colour. To prevent our animation from being grainy, we need to click on the picture icon and tick denoising. Lastly, click on the camera icon, scroll down, and click on the file. Then save it somewhere on your laptop. Also make sure your file is an AVI JPEG. Now you can click on the animation button and your animation is now set to render. Depending on how long your animation is and what laptop you're using, it can take up to an hour to even a few days to render. After a few hours of rendering and editing on iMovie, this is what the final intro looks like.
I also have an editing tutorial on my channel, which I will link in the description if you want to learn how to edit.